Are you an artist looking for monetizing your artwork? Well, many of us as artists have invested so much time on building our skills, our soft skills on how to develop the techniques of how to make it perfect. But a few of us only have invested time on looking out options how to sell or how to monetize your artwork. Well, in this video, I am going to uh, reveal five different ways in which you can monetize your art online. Okay, so stay tuned. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Priya Sophia Jogi and I am a coach and a consultant. As a consultant, I help people energize and harmonize their house by the Feng Shui technique so that they can place the arts in such a way that it will help them enhance their goal. And as a coach, I help artists to monetize their work. Okay, so let's get straight to today's topic, which is the five steps which can help you to monetize your artwork online. Step number one, sell original artwork online. First is to choose what is your goal and how you would want to achieve it. Okay, so there are multiple ways in which you can sell. You know, all these options have their own advantages and disadvantages. Well, the first one is to go to an art exhibition and exhibit your work, have it there. Um, your the people who are going to promote the exhibit are going to spend on advertising your work and inviting people to view your work and that way you will not have to work on the nitty gritties of marketing you just have to pay them a commission uh, however but you don't have to take the pain okay so that's one way another problem with this is that it's difficult to get entry into certain exhibits it's not very easy um, as a beginner artist, you might find it very difficult and challenging to get an entry into an exhibition, okay? Um, and if you want to get into museums, it is even more difficult. So that's one way. Uh, however, you will have uh, loyal followers um, of which you may not be aware of, okay? So that's again another disadvantage. The second way of doing it is to have your own store. And by that, what I mean is, you have your website, have your paintings on your website and sell it to your customers. This needs a lot of effort on your side to build it, to market it and to have a little patience to get traffic coming and convert it into money. But yes, slowly this will start building up. That's one way. Another way to do it is to sell on auction sites. Now on auction sites, there is a lot of uh, option for you to get visibility because people arriving there are already looking for some good piece of art, right? So there you might have to compete with many other artists. Now what you need to also understand is that while you compete and the price that they are paying for your painting is including the shipment charge. So you may have to take the charges of your shipment and then you have to sell it. You might not have a database of your loyal customers. Whereas when you have your own website, you do know who are your customers. Then you can go back to them and you know inform them about your new creations and all that. So that's one advantage and disadvantage. So these are three ways in which you can really sell your original artwork to your customers. Okay, let's get to the second point. Point two is to create prints of your artwork. There are many other um, companies who can print your artwork for you. You just have to give a soft copy and they will print it out for you. There are a lot of advantages and disadvantages here as well. One is that you need to know who is printing it for you because you may want to test the quality of print that's coming out. If your artwork is having a lot of textures and um, fine details, you really want to see if that is reflected in the print. So one way you can uh, make sure that this is going to happen is by ordering the print yourself and checking. You could give this to one of your experts that you know and you know some expert artists that you might know and want to take advices from them. Uh, if you know someone who is already doing it, and uh, getting a good response from their customers, you may want to follow them as well. So, 
that's one way of getting your uh, prints of artwork uh, another way to do it is through the print on demand stores well i'll be describing about the print on demand stores later in another video but that is one option where some other store is going to print it for you and ship it out for you whereas you don't get a bigger piece of um, profit there whereas in the way when you go and print it out and sell it to your customers you might get a better profit margin um, in the print on demand uh, model usually it is just a percentage percentage of commission that you get from the sale okay so you have to keep all these things in mind because everything has its own advantages and disadvantages and that's exactly why i told you in the first place that you may want to choose what kind of model you want to work with okay so that's the second way of uh, selling your artwork the third way of selling your artwork is through have uh, digital products digital products actually mean you are having some digital uh, file okay it could be a ebook where you are talking about how to go about any technique or your painting skills or, or you want to teach people something you could have an ebook give away some checklists that you may want people to use while they are painting and uh, before shipping or something like that which will be very useful for an artist to you know go about with their painting work another way of monetizing through your digital products is through creating courses creating some online tutorials or you could go live and uh, give some workshops or do some webinars okay so those are the digital ways in which you can sell your products you can sell your digital files so what do you mean by digital files is that there are a lot of people uh, who are doing the print on demand um, but they are not artists so what you could do is potentially sell your uh, digital product as downloadables and people can download it and put it on their uh, product and sell it that brings us to our fourth point which is to license your artwork for commercial use now what do we mean by commercial use products is that um let's say if you are an artisan and if you wanted to uh, really sell your art if it was original then it was automatically copyrighted to you okay and if you are going to use somebody else's artwork in your um, whatever on your website or wherever then you may want to make sure that you have the copyright um, rights from them uh, for usage and you need to display that in your website as well so that way for example you could see in um, you know uh, shutterstock or anywhere pixels you could see there are a lot of uh, websites there where they sell photographs in the same way you can sell your paintings and your paintings can be uh, you photographed and you could give those paintings to uh, these sites where they will automatically license your artwork and that will can be used for commercial purposes okay so that way you will get some sort of an income on the side it's not going to be a huge but uh, for every usage you are still going to make some sort of an income on a regular and that's one way to license your artwork for commercial usage okay so there are two types of licensing that happens here one is exclusive and the other one is non exclusive so if it is exclusive which means that you are exclusively giving rights to that person or the other party to use your artwork if it is non exclusive what happens is the other party and anyone can use your artwork there on okay so that's where you have to mention what kind of licensing you want to go with and the fifth way of doing it is sell art inspired merchandise and here is what i want to talk about the print on demand uh, business model okay so in a print on demand business model uh, there is a company who will print your designs onto a product and that product will be merchandised to others merchandise can be uh, sold on your website or on a vendor's website so you could be the selling it on amazon etsy on your own website or you could be selling it on the print on demand stores um, site itself making a good investment with a good company is the key to succeed in print on demand stores so just to recap what we learned now 
Five ways to monetize art online are to sell original artwork online, to create prints for your artwork, create digital products, license your artwork for commercial use, sell art inspired merchandise. And if you are very much interested in knowing how exactly to do all these things, how to monetize your artwork and you really want to get on a fast track, well, I have a good news for you. I have a live webinar coming up and if you want, uh, you can just register in the given link, uh, https sophias.co and if you register here, you will have a mail that comes to you well, which will tell you when is the free webinar and you can just hop into that and I will give you some um, blueprints of how to go about with your art business so that you can make a seven figure income within a year. Okay, I hope this session was wonderful and gave you uh, an idea of how to monetize your artwork. So until next time, this is Priya Sophia Jogi signing off. Bye-bye.